This is a plot of accelerator pedal position to throttle plate position. Simple, right? However much power you ask for, the engine gives you. Unfortunately, many cars today do not give you what you ask for. They do this instead. Now, this graph is not to scale, but the principle is the same. You ask for a certain amount of its power, and it actually gives you less than you asked for. Why? Why would car manufacturers do this? Fuel efficiency. This is one of the ways that we can get 420 horsepower trucks that get over 20 miles per gallon. The vehicle tricks you into going easy on the throttle by desensitizing the pedal. This leads to the so-called spongy pedal feeling, where your car has plenty of power, but it feels like you've really got to mash the pedal down to get it. Sponge pedal really ruins the driving experience. This is where the pedal monster comes in. It intercepts the signal from the throttle pedal and sends the engine a modified, boosted value. With the pedal monster boosting the pedal sensitivity and the factory tune sabotaging it, you can actually dial in the device to get that proper one-to-one -one reaction between the pedal and the engine just the way you want. One question I had about the pedal monster is if it is boosting the throttle on the low end, what happens on the high end? If the boost coefficient is constant, that would mean that the throttle plate would be wide open before the pedal is all the way to the floor. The throttle cannot physically open more than 100%, so that would result in a dead pedal region, which just wouldn't be any good. Thankfully, the bank's engineers are pretty smart, and the curve does indeed look like my original graph. The boost attenuates as the throttle opens, so wide open matches with full pedal travel. No dead pedal zone, exactly as it should be. But why stop there? The pedal monster allows the driver to customize the throttle sensitivity to suit their preferences. You can add more boost, or just a little, or return it completely to stock. It actually offers 30 different levels of sensitivity. You can make your car's throttle respond just the way you want it to, and the settings can be changed easily. Thank <laughs> you. 